Rui Lopez opening, Morphe defense, Brayer, Zaitsev hybrid variation, 11.C4C6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop must choose between exchanging and withdrawing. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. B7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. B5 gains gain space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. BB3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the F7 square. D6 defends the E5 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. C3 prepares the D2 D4 pawn break and clears the C2 square for the light squared bishop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. H3 prevents black from developing the light squared bishop to G4, which would pin the knight and make it hard for white to play D4. NB8 retreats the knight in order to relocate it to d7, black plans to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7 and doesn't want the knight to block it on c6. d4 attacks the e5 pawn, controls the center and opens the diagonal for the dark squared bishop to develop. NBD7 develops the knight toward the center, defends the e5 pawn and keeps the a8h1 diagonal open for black's light squared bishop. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. Not the finest this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to improve a bishop's square and broaden its range. It is incorrect. This exposes a pawn attack. It is quite good. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only move that works. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. 
it is ideal. This wins material. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to gain a pawn. It is ideal. This squanders a chance to link rooks. It is incorrect. That falls flat. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. This passes up the chance to capture an outpost with a bishop. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. That's good. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. That's good. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is brilliant. This avoids the knight's check. It is quite good. A pawn can now effectively protect another piece because of this. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is quite good. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This defends a knight who is being attacked and is not well defended. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. That's good. This is how you attract a knight. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Thus, a rook is won. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. That bishop was free for the taking. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of.